This Escovitch lobster with fried green plantain shell, 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 shell. And this lasagna. Mm, mm, oh my god, it is so good. And the wrap for breakfast. Yo, guys, stay for it. What's popping, exhibit family? It's your girl Rachel Singh back in the kitchen, and today we're doing our compilation video of our food. Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm so excited. It's a good nice, guys. Just continue watching. So as you can tell from the title, I've done a food compilation of my cooking for you guys, and right here where we are now, we're just enjoying some crepe for breakfast. And I was inspired by this crepe. I think I'll try it. You guys know crepe is French. And pretty much what they do is to use a thin, an extremely thin layer of pancake. And you can have it sweet or savory. You can have it with cookie and creams. That's what she's having. Or you can have it with eggs or bacon or anything you want, guys. Yep, just wait for it. Talk nice. So the first thing we're going to be preparing is a breakfast wrap. And guys, look here. I did this um, wrap in another video. And I just wanted to show you step by step how we're going to go about it. And... Uh, basically we just use some simple ready-made wraps they're sold in the supermarket so we get those you get some chicken tenders you can air fry them or deep fry them or you can bake them you can either boil your eggs or you can scramble your eggs with some bacon get your vegetables that you like in here i have cucumber with lettuce and tomato i'm not going for any cheese in this wrap you can fry your egg you can however i chose to boil my eggs in this video and so i'm putting this together and this can make a simple one two three wrap so if you're not into the cooking thing or you don't want to be in the kitchen for a very long time this is quick and simple and easy to do if you are new to the channel i just want to tell you welcome to the exhibit family and if you are returning big up big up yourself guys thank you for 3000 views on my last cooking video M many of you have mentioned that i should do more cooking videos so if you are enjoying the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up by the end of this video you can also tell me which one is your favorite or which one you think you're gonna be trying yes guys um just stick around for it the food are gonna nice all on tight you know we're preparing three meals in the kitchen for you today and we're almost finished with this one simple breakfast or you can have it for lunch and basically i'm adding my little honey mustard dressing or this is my go-to dressing and i need to have some inside i also use garlic butter um to kind of you know moisten the wrap to give it that garlic i like garlic so that is what i went for and you know you can customize it for other members of the household so who like cheesy add cheese who don't like tomato you leave all the tomato and you customize it accordingly so here i am it's complete it really smells fresh and nice and clean oh my god let's try this guys let's try this Mm, mm, mm. this is so divine i'm telling you i'm telling you this is good mm, yeah yo Jay. Guys, let's fly over to Italy with this one, two, three amazing lasagna. One, two, three step. Guys, wait for it. It's so creamy and we use three cheese. So I'm going to do it step by step. So first, we're going to boil out the water. When the water comes to a boil, you're adding some salt. Like, you know, you just use the discretion and just throw in a little couple of pinch of salt. When the water comes to a boil now, you put, uh, normally tip a little oil in your little um, palm to keep them from not sticking so i'm adding in the noodles now guys and these are specific lasagna noodles the beef ready so i just throw the beef in the pot and just throw on the seasoning i've added like a fresh garlic some like a fresh onion of course you have to have your sauce your, your, your tomato sauce and then here we go we're just gonna turn it turn it until it get a little brown and once this color starts to change or reach a medium halfway then this is what it's gonna look like and then we're gonna start to add in the sauce yeah usually at this point i add in plenty because i like when it's creamy and juicy so i put in enough sauce in there i can smell the fresh herbs i added italian seasoning i also added a little chupsa 
braised tomato ketchup I also added a little sugar I put in a little all-purpose as you can see earlier on to make the thing well nice and spicy you know what I need a little Jamaican flavor so in no time in about 20 minutes or so the noodle is well cooked so you know I have to prep and grease my little pan that I'm gonna use and then I'm gonna lay those out three at the bottom and then afterwards I'm gonna start adding my sauce to this layer by layer so I'm adding noodle then I'm adding the meat and then I'm going to add the cheese so basically this is how I'm getting my layers in simple guys one two three that's on it here we come and if you're gonna try this don't forget to let me know that you're gonna be trying it and if you're enjoying it so far remember to let me know or what style you use you can share with us see I'm adding the cheese right here and wow look I can't wait to complete this process I like using mixed cheese I also like using um, regular cheddar cheese but all of these cheese combined layer by layer and then of course the finishing it cover it with a little foil because you know initially I'm gonna be putting it under the oven for about 10 minutes with the foil and then I'm gonna take off the foil and look here see it here half an hour 30 minutes later this is what it looks like everything melt out and set everything set this is what you call a real copper set and then you have the layers right there everything bubbly and night you need to smell the kitchen right now and this tell me now tell me and i thought the truth doesn't this just look delicious don't it look delicious and it uh, trust me so i'm trying to get out this piece here to show you how it come out usually it's good to leave it to set a little so everything come together but made it anxious bad so this is me taking out a part to just sample it up and thing yeah and then i'm going in for the extra sauce at the bottom oh my god look at nice clean food guys how it look nobody cannot tell me i never got italy today i even made a tiktok guys check it out Make lasagna with me. Who got the sauce? I got the sauce. What's in the sauce? I, I, I am the sauce. Okay. Don't tell me you've tasted anything like this. Don't, don't. I, ah. <laughs> Honestly, guys, this is just too much excitement for one video. And we'll take our green planting because we're going to another dish. We're doing the Escovich lobster with the pressed green planting. Yeah, we get out the nice green planting from Dunga Town or you can go to the supermarket and then you fry them initially and you press them, then you fry them again and know the thing. Add some salt right after you take them out and then the oil will just absorb the salt. Salt is optional. And in this plate, I get them a pickle. I have a little vinegar, then I add a little sugar, and then I mix it out, and then I add my seasoning. At the time, I add onion, I didn't have any carrot, but I can't put carrot in there. This is me prepping the lobster and things, seasoning it up with a little salt and black pepper. You know, lobster have a flavor all by itself, so you know you don't need a lot of seasoning on the lobster. Just light seasoning, guys. Check this part out. Guys, you can tell by this video that my lobsters are sticking together like glue. Yes, look at them. Well set together. They are so in love, guys. Yeah. Yes. It's getting hot in here. So guys, we started a deep fry. Yeah, we'll put some oil. I put a amount of oil in the pot. And in that oil, I added the pepper and I added some fresh garlic. And then I put in the lobster. So, you know, I'm cover the pot because I can't take the special pan the burn thing. So, that's it. One down, couple more to go. You don't know the green planting. Everything just look nice. So, guys, don't it? So 
so guys now we plated this nice juicy mouth watering tantalizing delicious onion pickled vinaigrated um nice escovich lobster jamaican style with a nice pressed green planting look how food nice and clean and look nice Whoa, talk up to me we've come to the end of the video guys thanks for always watching racial exhibit guys see you next time in another video bop, 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 bop. peace out